Many of my fondest memories of gaming from the old days are of the Amiga, and one thing that always evokes a lot of nostalgia for me is the music. So I thought I'd do a video where I talk about some of my favourite Amiga music. So this is that. I won't include the full tracks, but I'll link to places where you can listen to all the music in its entirety in the video description. If you've seen my Frontier Fundamentals series, you'll know how much I love Frontier. Of all the amazing things in the game, the music is one of those. It includes versions of classical music like Ride of the Valkyries and In the Hall of the Mountain King, as well as some excellent original music in the same style, written by David Lowe. When my brother first told me that some of the music from my favourite game was actually classical music, I listened to the originals. And while they are of course amazing, Something about these chip tuny versions still appeals to me even more. That's the power of nostalgia, I guess. For me, this music will always be associated with a sense of exploration of the unknown and the infinite possibilities of space travel. Monkey Island is a delightful game that I've played so many times. And the music by Michael Land does a lot to establish the whimsical and silly nature of the game. Although much of the actual gameplay lacks music, that just makes the significance all the more apparent when it does come in. The intro music perfectly sets up the atmosphere, beginning almost forebodingly, but then transitioning into a cheerfully bright tune, letting you know this game will be whimsical and full of silliness. It manages to keep this tone throughout all of the songs, even the doomy LeChuck theme, and the romantic music when things get interesting between Guybrush and Elaine. This is a game that doesn't take itself seriously, and the music perfectly reflects that. Cannon Fodder is a very irreverent game about war. This has made some people very angry because dickheads with no sense of humour don't understand satire. But anyway, no list of great Amiga music could possibly omit this game's soundtrack. Somewhat unusually for an Amiga game, the main theme has lyrics. And this is probably the one most people think of when remembering Cannon Fodder. But my favourite piece of music from the game is the one that plays on the recruitment screen. Every time you lose a soldier, a gravestone is added to the hill. As the game goes on, more and more are added. The sombre music really adds to the implied message about the cost of war. Apparently it's an instrumental version of a song John Hare wrote about his first love. There are remixes of this song which include the lyrics and I'll link to one of those that I enjoy. This song never fails to be striking. I played the Settlers quite a lot in the old days. I mostly enjoyed playing without an opponent. Something about building these little settlements with these tiny people, farming, mining, smelting ores and making tools was very appealing. And a big part of that was the atmosphere, partly created by the soundtrack composed by Marcus Kludzweit. I probably got that wrong. <laughs> The music consists of one song that continues to play on a loop throughout the game, but I never got tired of it. The game for me was about relaxing, building something fun and taking my time with it. The music really helps with that experience and I still listen to it to this day.
Tarkin 2 was a game I regret missing out on back in the day, so I can't look at it with the same nostalgia as the other games I've talked about so far. I first played it in a video I recorded for the first episode of Overlooked Oldies, where I play requested games. The music by Chris Hulsbeck struck me very quickly, and soon I was rendered speechless. It was so good, I didn't want to talk over it. And that was just the first level. Every level has different music, as well as the title screen and end sequence. It was part of the reason I wanted to do a full series on the game, so I would get to hear it all in context. The music that plays in the end sequence is one of my favourites. It feels like victory. Links to all the soundtracks I've talked about are in the description. I hope you enjoyed listening to them as much as I do. And here's some other videos I've done if you'd like to check those out. Thanks for watching.